Hey everyone, welcome to Sweet Carolina Gardening. I have a pest I want to tell you about today in my garden. If you're from the south, you're sure to be familiar with camellias. It's also known as camellia. It's kind of like that pecan pecan thing in the south. Depending on where you're from, you may pronounce it differently. So unfortunately, I have a prime example of the number one pest on a camellia. And that is known as camellia scale. It is also known as tea scale because camellias are in the tea family. Um, so what they are is basically a little bug that um, gets all underneath the leaf and sucks the juices out of the plant. So first of all, you'd see some yellowing and I'm gonna show you um, some close-ups of the yellowing of the leaves and then I'll show you the underside, which is the, um, the actual bug itself and what that looks okay, like. So you can see all of these yellow spots on uh, this camellia and underneath here, you see all of the camellia scale bugs. And they have this kind of white that gets under there as well. Um, so we can find another example. Here is another way that they can look. They can look white like that. So that is a camellia scale or T scale. So there's two approaches you can go with on treating your camellia scale. One is horticultural oil, which is an oil that you actually spray onto the underside of the leaf. You have to get it on the bug. It smothers the bug, that's how it works. So it has, you have to actually hit that bug. and You have to hit it on every single leaf that's infected. Um, I tried kind of spraying, I was probably hit or miss. And also horticulture oil has to be um, used at certain temperatures, definitely not hot temperatures because it can um, actually um, burn the leaves so you don't want to use it in too hot so that kind of makes it hard to use uh, but mostly that the fact that you've got to get every single leaf um, so that's the first way to treat so the second way you can treat it would be with a systemic for, uh, pesticide so you would mix it up pour it around the bottom of the plant the plants roots would suck up the into the plant and the whole plant would have this pesticide in it but unfortunately this kind of treatment also would affect the pollinators, so it would be in the, the um, flowers of the plant. So even though camellias bloom in the winter and fall and you may not have as many pollinators, I'd prefer not to use that, um, especially in this situation. Now, if I had uh, a prized camellia that was gorgeous and it, it just was perfect where it was, I would use a systemic. I would try to do it when it wasn't in bloom, but I would absolutely use it because um, you'd want to save that plant. The American Camellia Society recommends two things. One is Saigon and the other is Orthene as a systemic treatment for um, Camellia. So if you decided to go that route, that's what they recommend for it. For my plant, it actually has some other issues going on. One is it's in a poor drainage area, which there's not a lot I can do about that. It's just surrounded by pavement and water doesn't drain well. So it's generally not happy and probably why it has a lot of the T-scale to begin with. And the second being, it's probably gonna get too big. I was probably pushing it when I put it in that position. My intention was to train it up like a lollipop tree and um, keep it cut back like that. But, um, you know, it's just not happy. It, it's not worth that much trouble at this point. I think I paid $25 for it. It was very small. So I'm just going to dig it up. So you guys wish me luck with that because it might be a chore. But I'm uh, going to throw it out and start over. Hope you that. guys have a wonderful day. I hope this video was helpful and useful. And if so, I'd appreciate a like, um, thumbs up, and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Have a great one guys. Bye.